<laughs> that was the new boss. <laughs> he sounded like a dog. He's got a terrible cough. Oh, God, I don't know, about 70. Got this thing about him, he's sort of musty. Hang on, got to go. There's a sea lion in Chris's office. It's Malcolm Grieg. He's here already. Yeah, never stops the coughing and the hecking. At least he's still alive. Hey? Oh, he was in management at St. Kath's a couple of years ago. Then he retired. I'm, I'm sure I heard he was dead. Is he going to answer that? Oh, you don't think he's... Yes? You can answer that? No. Malcolm, Nick Harrison. We met a few years ago when Sophia Martinez was in charge here. Oh, yes. I'm you too, I see. Oh, fine. It's great you're here, actually. I've got some requisition requests from various departments that need to be approved. Yeah, yeah, leave all that to me. Yeah. You'll need to be formally introduced to the staff. Can I organise a meeting? Whatever you have to do. Right. Be quiet. Be quiet. You could always turn it off. I would if I knew how. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I suppose I'm going to have to come up to speed with technology now that I've come out of retirement. Well, that's Harry for the next hour or so. Can I get you another one? Uh, no thanks. That one's done the trick. <laughs> so... Why the sleepless night last night? Well, I probably shouldn't say anything, but uh, the police turned up to talk to Dom about Avril Lusic. Her family seemed to think that she'd been out on a date with Dom the night she disappeared. I know that Avril's brother was pretty adamant that uh, Dom was involved somehow, but I'm not sure of the details. You don't think there's anything going on between them, do you? When Avril was working at Shorten Street, I had to let her go for leaking info to the press. She claimed she was doing it because Dom told her to. He called her a liar. So when she turned up as his PA, I have to say I was surprised. Oh, I thought I... I thought I knew Dom. I've always believed him and trusted him. But since I've been in Australia and he's been over here... I don't know what's been going on. Surely even Dom isn't stupid enough to risk losing a woman like you. <laughs> um, can I get you another one? Uh, why not? <laughs> well, all I can say is it's about time. Uh, my blood gas analyzer and your new nurses. Just around the corner, eh, Judy? Mm -hmm. Still, it will be strange seeing somebody else in Chris's seat. You know what they say? Change is as good as a rest. How long does it take someone to come downstairs and say, hi, I'm the new CEO, and then go back upstairs again? What's your hurry? Part date with Norman? <sighs> no, he's not the only again. I like her. When she was only visiting for a few days, she was almost bearable, but now she wants to stay in New Zealand permanently. Awesome! Awesome! You can't stand her. Excuse me, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? I know you're expecting to meet the new CEO, but he's been tied up. He's asked me to announce his appointment. About as well, doesn't it? Shortland Street's new CEO has worked at St. Cat's for many years. If any of you have any concerns or questions, Malcolm Greig's door is always open. Malcolm Greig? I thought he was dead. Oh, good. That's helpful. Well, he retired a way back, I know that much. And he's an accountant by trade, not a doctor. I remember Patricia Hewitt moaning on about his slow, plotty management style. Oh, not one of those. <laughs> one Nick. of those. Craig. Have you spoken to this new guy about our requirements? Yeah. And? Over to him. Great. He's going to order a full investigation and, and go over every single budget before we ever see a cent. <laughs> Shan, I've been looking for you. Well, you told Delphi what happened between us. He had to tucky. Oh, I was fairly stink and we were talking and it just came out. I didn't know she was going to go blab to Vinny. Well, you should have kept your mouth shut. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have come to work and had a go at her. It was shameful. Oh, Kato. She deserved it. Shameful for me, Shan. Oh, I didn't think of it that way. Yeah. Sorry. 
And I'm sorry uh, I let things get out of hand the other night. Kids, what? No, it wasn't. It, I shouldn't have... Hey, things like that happen all the time when people break up. We're just lucky it didn't go any further. Us would really be screwed. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'd better get on. This is leading into our profits. Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll get those sutures out in a few days and you'll be as good as new. Mm, can't wait. And then we can start talking about your punishment. Where's your son? Don't worry. What's this? Saw your car in the car park. That's a number of an old friend of mine. He does mobile auto glass repairs. You mention my name, he'll look after you. No, thanks. Jake will appreciate it, seeing as he'll be paying for the damage. Quite like a joyride. Actually, it wasn't even that. It was Jake's own special way of showing that he was annoyed with his father. Yes, I am the proud father of the most out-of-control teenage boy in the world. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I've seen worse. How did you see Jake leaving? Oh. Well, he'd been in the wars. Mm hmm what happened? I fell off his bike. Didn't know Jake had a bike. Bob, when do I get to meet this Malcolm Greig guy? When he's ready, I suppose. Oh, I need to see him urgently. Well, can't you wait until tomorrow? He's just sitting in. Doesn't want to be bombarded by requests on his first day. Look, I don't care what he wants, but I, I have to put up with that dodgy blood gas analyzer for much longer. It'll end in disaster. I reckon. Well, then talk to Nick. I already have. Bob! That's what I came to tell you. The machine's taking way too long to get the results through. And management's taking way too long to do anything about it. I think it's about time I spoke to this Malcolm Greig guy. Mr Greig, I'm Craig Valentine, the head of ED. Didn't Barbara tell you I wasn't to be disturbed today? Uh, yes, she did, but my department is in desperate need of a new blood gas analyzer. I've had lots of requests from lots of departments for equipment. Now, when I get a chance to peruse the budget... No, you don't understand. There is no time to peruse anything. Look, you're not a doctor, so you obviously don't appreciate the urgency here. Are you all right? Mr. Green? 